Hi, this is Mandy from Sunflowers and Doors and welcome back to my channel. So today I have uh, an unboxing for you. Um, quite exciting. Um, this is from BB Craft and I will put all of the information into the description box below. Uh, I have done a collaboration with BB Craft before, um, but this one was a completely different approach. Um, I don't know if you have seen, um, Kay from the Paper Shed UK does, um, oh gosh, um, what do you call them? Glue toppers. And they are awesome. Absolutely incredible. So I have one here, um, and I absolutely love it. Uh, and it keeps me from losing the pin, which is something I do every single time that I am, um, trying to work with my art glitter glue. So, um, Beam Craft got in touch and they do a range of craft and city materials but they also do a load of materials for jewellery making and uh, beads and that type of thing so I figured I would um, have a, a little go at trying to perhaps do some more um, not glue toppers um, because I can go to K for whenever I need those but to try and do a little bit more in terms of dangles so I placed an order with them and this I think is it so this is quite exciting it's humongous um, absolutely humongous and there's loads and loads of goodies here so I will run through them with you. Um, each of the items that I have ordered, again, I will put the details of the items in the description box below um, so that if you are interested, you can jump on um, directly and get what is here. Uh, BB Craft always do a load of um, different special offers and stuff. So that they, you know, like I said, I've worked with them before um, and I've really been impressed. So. Already, this is a really nice sturdy tin, um, or plastic container rather, and this is all of the findings. Um, I think they're called findings. I'm not a jewellery maker in any way, shape or form. Um, but I will get a couple of these out to show you. So these are a load of silver uh, findings. And they're different shapes, different sizes, um, really different. Um, some are smaller. Uh, I don't know if you can see this one. They're really lovely. So, and um, there's a huge amount of them. I'm not sure how many is in this set, but you're talking um, quite a few hundred, if not more. Uh, I'll have another look and see if I can tell you. Well, it'll be in the description box anyway. So there's another one. Don't know how well you can see that. But these are really, really lovely. I'm really excited to get going with these now. They're different sizes, they're different shapes, they're different all sorts. Um, so if you are interested in... Go here, there. If you're interested in um, making dangles or jewellery pieces or even um, glue stoppers, then there's absolutely loads in here. So, oh gosh, see? And these ones are different again. They're all different. Um, and so they would probably suit so many different styles and kind of what people like and don't like. Uh, I'm getting rid of these plastic bags because I hate plastic bags. So this one's more of a, I really, really am, um, I'm really impressed with these. Not that I didn't expect to be, but I really am impressed. I didn't realise there would be so many and they would be quite so, um, that one there is called, almost like it's got a, a, a bigger um, side. Yeah, I love these. So... That is an absolute um, yes from me. Like I said, I'm really excited now. I want to get started. Um, and then I ordered these, which look like they've been um, sealed oh, really well. 
I probably should have done all of this before I did the video, but I literally walked in the door and there was a parcel there and I'm like a kid with a new toy. So I had to jump on immediately and open it. Now these are your bead caps. So these ones here, really pretty um, flower. The others look different sizes and shapes. So this one again is similar but different, if that makes sense. Um, some of these are very, very small. So I'm assuming you'd use those with some really small beads. Um, that one you wouldn't need to because they're not, the, the smaller ones aren't that deep. Um, but there are very small ones here. So if you're using any tiny, teeny tiny beads, then you've got these bead caps. I mean, in fairness, you wouldn't even have to use them as bead caps. They would look lovely just on top of a bigger, chunkier bead, I'm sure. So, yeah, really, really pleased. So we've got our findings, we've got our bead caps. Um, now these, I thought, um, well, I don't really want to be, um, what's the word? I don't want to kind of pin myself down to, um, you know, all different colours and stuff. I wanted there to be some something that I could use with any colour, if you like. That's what I'm trying to say. And these are silver balls, again, in all different sizes. Um, so these are lovely as well. So this is the bigger. Um, they're really lovely, really, really bright, just round silver balls. Um, and then there's one, there's that one, which is the biggest one. That one is the next size down two. That looks like it's the next size down three. Then we've got a smaller one again, four. And we've got a teeny tiny one, five. So five different sizes. And there looks to be a nice number in each of those. What, there's probably about, I don't know, four, five, six, seven, six, Got to be about 50, would you say? 50, 60? It's an odd number. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say there's could be 100, I suppose. I'm not very good with uh, guesstimating. But yeah, I really like those. And then I did buy these in case I want to have a little play um, with some uh, glue toppers. Um, but you can actually use these for a number of things. So I can make straight dangles by putting um, where your glue topper is. I had to rip that, sorry. Where your thing is there, I could fill that all the way up with beads um, and just have a solid dangle for different projects. So, yeah, that was a, an idea. So these are the... I think they're called, I, I want to say eye pins. Um, I want to say eye pins. And these look to be two inches, which is a nice size. Um, and I've ordered the silver ones. Now, these are stainless steel, if I remember rightly, uh, which is the only thing you want to work with because if you're going to use it with glues, it will tarnish the colour of your glues, as I found out um, by using some... Um, cheap sewing pins um, and there's some gold ones there. Now uh, Kay has just released a fabulous video on showing you how to create these um, and so I would say to you definitely, definitely if you haven't seen that already pop over and have a look. Um, I I love the way she's done them. Um, I have, I chose this one um, just because I loved it, but there's so many on Kay's um, site that, yeah, loads and loads and loads to choose from. But I did watch her video again um, and it's fabulous. So I will link it in the description box again below uh, just so you can have a look. But yeah, they are my goodies. I'm really, really excited um, to be getting these and I will be doing a couple of um, videos with these products and you can see how I get on 
Um, but a huge thank you to BB Craft for, again, the opportunity of working with them and for such a lovely stash of goodies. So that's it for me. Um, just a really quick um, video just to say hi and share this with you. Um, I will catch you in the next video. So until then, as always, take care uh, and I will speak to you soon. Bye for now.